Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, October 13th. Thank you so much for joining into our weekly PPACA webinars. We have a pretty full agenda. I'm going to share everything um, that I can, everything that I know at this point uh, relative to 2017 um, for the, the first part of the agenda specific to the individual plans. Um, we do have a special speaker, Chad Wilcox, who's the manager of the partner, partner development for Healthiest You. I, I kind of did a teaser last week. He's on the call today and will be giving a quick 10-minute overview in preparation for our uh, November 3rd meeting, or webinar, I should say. Um, so since there are some new people on, on the call today, I just wanted to kind of do a quick recap. Um, for those of you that don't know, my name is Deb Wilkinson, and I'm the Vice President of the, of, uh, the Health Plan Marketing, uh, Health Plan Options Department. Can't even uh, tell you what my, <laughs> what my title is. That's how this week has been going, folks. Um, but, you know, we do appreciate you joining in every week. A lot of you know that we've started these webinars over three years ago, and and just use them for uh, a place where you can come and get your questions answered, hopefully, and ask questions. Um, but, you know, we do much more. And I wanted to take just a few minutes to kind of bring you up to date with our website and let you know a little bit about who we are. Um, we've been in the business for more than 30 years. We are much more than health. We have a annuity solutions department headed up by our senior vice president, Joe Corio our employee benefits department, which is all things um, ancillary, either employer paid voluntary or voluntary benefits, such as group life, group uh, disability, dental, et cetera. Um, a lot of other exciting things going on in the employee benefits department um, with our uh, Benefits Connect enrollment and HR platform, as well as payroll. So there's a lot of good opportunities uh, that we're, we're trying to bring to the table for you. Of course, the Health Plan Options Department, which is, is uh, overseen by myself and Christy Saul. Um, we have a FFM resource page, group health resource page, marketing tools, product information, uh, a search tool, quoting tools, etc. cetera. Um, Life Markets, who, that is headed up, head up by um, Steve Clemens. Medicare Offerings, uh, run by Christy Wilbert and Karen McDaniel. And these are fully functioning, uh, full of expert departments, uh, standalone on their own. So certainly something that if you are in any of these lines, you can reach out to us and see what we offer. So let's get right to this. Um, make my screen full for you. Um, so I, I want to just kind of bring you up to date with what I know so far on the individual. Capital, as we all know, and we've discussed the last couple weeks, they are not paying any commissions for individual plans in 2017 new business. Um, they are still trying to figure out and come up with a strategy as to whether they are paying on renewal or not and what that definition of renewal is. So more to follow on capital, but for now, I can tell you any new capital business will not pay compensation in 2017. Independence is now saying that they, well, they're, say, they, they're saying that they will pay renewals, but they came out last week and said they're not paying on any new to blue plans and that includes on and off marketplace, <clears throat> then they reverse that and they are going to pay new to blue on two off marketplace plans. Those plans are the silver proactive value and the HMO bronze. And those are the only new to blue programs that they're paying commissions on. And uh, again, they are off marketplace plans only and those two specific plans. Nothing for new on marketplace or any of the other um, off marketplace new to blue plans. They are paying renewals. Aetna, um, of course, pulled out of Pennsylvania. They have one product that they are offering off marketplace, but it is non commissionable. They are asking for everyone to go into their portal, the Aetna.com <clears throat> producer world, and update your hierarchy, complete a new W9 because they dissolved all the hierarchies once again 
And if you do business in other states that are still offering Aetna, um, then you're going to want to do that to make sure that they have the information they need in order to pay you. They are paying direct. This is not something that URL can handle uh, because we are not getting the Aetna compensation and paying you. They, so Aetna needs this information. I encourage you to go into Producer World. Um, some news from Highmark for Central, Western, NEPA. For all three of these territories, they are going to um, require on online enrollment for commissions. Now, that might sound like they're paying commissions, but they've not even determined if they're paying commissions yet. So again, that could change as soon as I hear anything. I did ask this morning again if they are can at least tell me if they are paying commissions on new business or renewals, and they can't tell me that at all. So that's all I have so far on Highmark. UPMC is paying commissions. We have no details on the amount of commissions they're paying and what that really means. Uh, we do have a training session this afternoon, uh, Judy and I, to take a, a look at the 2017 product. Of course, I'll share anything that I have um, once I know it. <laughs> And Geisinger will pay renewals, but on, not on new business. This is the approach they took last year as well. And again, this is all individual. The, the points one through six, that is all specific to the individual health market. Um, so it looks pretty dismal in Pennsylvania for the individual market. Um, and that's one of the reasons that I decided to talk to you about the Healthiest You program. It is something that I think is going to complement your sales. Is it going to save the world with uh, your income, <laughs> not doing individual health insurance? No, but it is, it is a product that it's a great product, it's an affordable product, and it is something that can keep your individual consumer clients engaged until this whole individual health um, segment works itself out. So, uh, you know, again, we're trying to bring you ideas of how to keep your clients engaged, uh, how to help you make money during this time. Um, we're also going to be talking um, in the next week or so about GAP programs that would also complement the individual segment. Um, so at this point, I'm going to turn it over to Chad Wilcox. He's going to do a, an introduction to the Healthiest You product. He is the manager of partner development at Healthiest View, and I believe, Chad, you, there you go, you have the screen. Let's see if we can hear you. Hmm. Let's see. Um, all right, I'm, I apologize. It looks like the... Uh, Hmm. Yeah, All right. Yeah. There we go. Hey, Chad. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. Right. Yeah, technology is not my strong suit, so I apologize for that. <laughs> yeah, I, I was ready to go. Just the audio pin I had to had to punch in. So my apologies. Um, well, thanks for that introduction. Um, nice to join you all here from uh, Arizona. It's nice and early this morning. Um, really <laughs> excited to give you a quick quick intro into uh, Healthiest You. Uh, as Deb mentioned, I'm just going to give you a quick intro and then uh, hopefully go through a, a more detailed presentation um, at the beginning of November webinar. Um, but really, as Deb was saying, we're looking to bend the trend of healthcare, right? The, the rising cost, all this has made people look for a solution. Well, telehealth is a very viable solution. It's only going to continue to grow. Um, in the years to come, and we feel like we do it as good or better than anyone else out there. Um, but one of the things I always like to point out about uh, Healthiest You is we're not just a telehealth company, uh, we're a behavior change um, and engagement company, right? So what we do is we look to educate the user, the member, the employee, the employer group. Um, we engage them with marketing, with our client success team, with the outreach. Um, about the benefit, and then ultimately our goal is to redirect them to telehealth uh, for all those acute illness reasons, right? 70% of the visit reasons people are going to the urgent care, the ER, the primary care, uh, can all be handled safely through a telehealth consult. 
you call in, there's zero dollars, uh, the zero dollar consult fee, uh, there's no barrier for people to try it. They can get a prescription sent directly to the pharmacy of their choice without ever having to leave their phone or their, uh, their workplace or, or their home. So really, really convenient um, along with saving the member and the employer money. Uh, just to highlight a couple of our um, you know, technology aspects, and I'll get into this in more detail uh, next month, uh, but we have our smartphone app, we have uh, a new couch care initiative coming through uh, where you will actually be able to do a consult over um, or from your couch on your smart TV uh, with a doctor. But you can also connect to a doctor through an old rotary phone. Uh, we can meet you at any technology level. We can meet your members and clients at their technology level. And we treat each group and each member um, individually, and, and we know that they're unique. We're not going to uh, work with a trucking company the same way we would a tech startup. Um, so our big value story is our utilization. You know, we get people to use it at a higher rate than any other telehealth competitor out there. Our average utilization uh, among all the groups that we have uh, on Healthy SU is 42%. The industry average is 1% to 5%. And just to clarify utilization, uh, that means how many telehealth consults have been performed uh, throughout the year by the group. So if you had a 100 life group and they did 42 telehealth co consults for the year, that would be 42% utilization. Now you'll see some other competitors out there track utilization as app downloads or, or some other um, you know, a vague statistic. So our, our utilization is strictly about telehealth consults. We get people to use it at a higher rate than any other competitor out there. And just to wrap up real quickly, um, just to hit on pricing, because I know a lot of you will be chomping at the bid to go out and, uh, and take this to some of your clients and your uh, employer groups. Uh, really simple, healthy SU pricing for employer paid is a tiered model. So for your smaller groups, it's going to start at $9 per employee per month. And that's going to include the, the uh, employee as well as spouse or eligible dependents in that pricing. Um, and then for voluntary uh, or individual pricing, it's really simple. $11 PEPM, um, and, uh, or I'm sorry, $11 for an individual, $15 for a family. Um, and then for the agents out there, that has a 15% commission built into the price for you. So there's no additional fees, no setup costs. Uh, it's just straight across the board. What you see is what you get. 15% um, for both voluntary as well as uh, your employer paid groups. So that's pretty much it uh, as far as a 10 minute intro. Uh, hit on pricing and a little bit about our features. Obviously we'll go into some more details next month. Uh, but Deb, I'll put, go ahead and throw it back to you if you want to wrap up any more points about it and look forward to uh, talking to all of you uh, next month. Well, thank you, Chad. I appreciate that. And, you know, again, we're trying to bring you, our agent partners, some ideas, some sales opportunities that, you know, again, you can keep your, your, uh, your clients engaged. It is 15% commission on the Healthiest You product. As Chad mentioned, you can sell it to groups and you can sell it to individuals. So I thought it was a good enough product that I wanted to get it out ASAP to you. Our full webinar is on November 3rd at 2 p.m. There is an, um, an invitation in my newsletter that will be going out around 10.15 today. So make sure if you have an interest that you register. Even if you can't attend, if you register, you'll get the recording and you'll learn all about it. If you know enough now that you want to, to, to become an agent and start selling, shoot me an email or give me a call or talk to uh, your new business rep, and um, I will email you an invitation. I have to go on to our portal and invite you. Uh, so, you know, again, I, I can get that done for you. Just let me know if you have an interest in the product. And hopefully you can mark your calendars for the 3rd of 2 p.m. to learn even more about the program. Um, just uh, another reminder uh, for a save the date, November 16th, there's a 2CE course here at URL 8.30 to 11.30 on sales ideas and also business succession planning. I know that's very important to all of you. I think the average age of agents in uh, the state of Pennsylvania is close to 60 years old. So unless you're planning on working till you're 100, you do have to come up with some sort of succession planning 
and I think this is a good opportunity not only to earn those CEs, but to learn some ideas to help protect your business and your assets that you've, uh, you've earned and worked hard for. Some good news on the uh, individual side, we do have a meeting with the Pennsylvania Insurance Department on October 27th to talk about consultation fees and commissions on the individual segment. Um, you know, this is not meant to be, uh, you know, legal advice. I'm not saying that you should or shouldn't charge a consultation fee. Um, I'm just letting you know that we're going to find out what, what we can do. Um, you know, the official position of the Pennsylvania Insurance Department is that you cannot charge a consultation fee. There's a lot of uh, law, uh, law, you know, attorneys out there, lawyers that uh, have looked at Act 147 mm -hmm the insurance law and see some gray areas in which you can charge a consultation fee. Um, but again, we're going to get down to the bottom of it. And PayWho is also um, planning on meeting here at URL, having a meeting on November 9th. Uh, right now it's scheduled from 9 to 11. It's going to be in our large conference room. So, uh, you know, again, we'll, we'll get information on that meeting date. It is a PayWho meeting. It's just being held here at URL. Uh, so those are all the details I have on that at this point. But as always, I will share absolutely anything that I can or know, um, you know, after that meeting. And just a reminder, Marketplace opens November 1st. Keep checking healthcare.gov for the rates. I don't know when they're going to be out, uh, maybe a week prior to November 1st. But keep checking because it seems like that's where we're going to be able to get the most information rather than from our carrier partners. So that brings us up to our open forum. Uh, as a reminder, our next webinar is next Thursday, of course, October 20th at 9.30, and I hope you join in. Uh, Chad is sticking with us for the questions, so if you have any questions relative to Healthy SU and Teladoc, just uh, let us know. Okay, lots of questions. Charles says he sees some in info on minimum essential plans that are ACA compliant being promoted that are paying commissions. Will URL consider working with one of these carriers. Uh, Charles, we already do. We have two uh, minimum essential group coverages. One, you need 10 enrollees, uh, but the group can be less than 50. And one, it has to be 50 or more. And uh, they both meet the Part A requirement for the employer pay or play uh, penalties. So they are gaining interest, and we do have them available. So. Charles, if you want to get some quotes, uh, let us know, and we can help you with that. Um, Dave asks if Aetna will pay individual health commissions on renewals. Um, Dave, they will if they are still keeping the products in other states, but in Pennsylvania, the products are gone. Uh, there will not be any commissions. So every Aetna insured, including your Coventry insured, they are going to be getting letters. In fact, they have already gone out and uh, letting them know that they will not have Aetna coverage available to them in the state of Pennsylvania for 17. So there will not be any such thing as renewals in Pennsylvania with Aetna. Jessica says, online application with Highmark on their site or healthcare.gov. Uh, for for um, on and off marketplace, Highmark will have the redirect to healthcare.gov, so from their portal, um, HighmarkBlueShield.com for Central PA, you can log in and enroll off Marketplace or redirect to on Marketplace. GAR says, so we can charge a consultation fee. Well, GAR, you know, again, the, the official um, answer from the PID is no, but we're going to find out under what circumstances you can. There, there is an agency uh, in Western PA that ran it through their, their attorneys and it, for the act of taking an application, you cannot charge a fee, but they feel that you can do a consult by narrowing down the plan options, looking at the provider networks, looking at the prescription formularies, and that you can charge a fee for that. Again, this is not legal advice. I'm just telling you what all of these minds have come up with. Um, so I will let you uh, know what happens as of the 27th, but um, I would also urge you to check with your legal team and make the decision based on what's best for your business. 
Charles says, like previous years, do we need to submit our marketplace training completion certificates to each carrier? No. Uh, most carriers are going to pull your certs from the CCIIO report, um, but Highmark does require that you go in to Sentinel Elite and do the ethics training, the marketplace training for 2017. It's just, you know, click through a, a few screens. Um, so go ahead and do that. And, and I would urge all of you, if you have done individual business in the past, do your FFM certification for 17. If, if nothing else, re, re, you know, keep that renewal stream so that you don't lose that if the carriers are paying renewals. So if you haven't done it, I, I encourage you to do that. Um, oh, here's a funny one. Sunny says, I like this. She says, just an FYI, our agency will be referring our individual clients to their senators and representatives. I like it. We are urging them to voice their concerns that they can't get help from a professional licensed agent because we are no longer being paid commissions. They should urge their senators to support and co-sponsor Senate Bill uh, 1661B, Senator John Isaacson of Georgia and Chris Coons of Delaware. They should urge their representatives to support and co-sponsor House Bill 8, 815 by Reps Billy Long of Missouri and Kurt Schrader of Oregon. Both the House and Senate bill will help clarify that Asian commissions should not be part of the medical loss ratio formula and help ensure that consumers have access to professional license guidance like us. Sunny, those are great suggestions. Um, if you, I, I'm going to try to see if I can copy and paste that. If not, I may be talking to you because I want to know about those those bills, and I'm sure I'll get some inquiries from from my other agent partners. Um, thank you for that, Sunny. Jim says, Deb, I get no commissions for dicing or new plans sold this year with the 2017 paying commission. No, um, if you, it would have had to have been, a for Geisinger specifically, it would have had to have been a renewal from 2015 or prior that paid in 16 and still renews for 17. So chances are pretty slim that any of us have any Geisinger renewals left, but they will pay on renewals, such as they are. Um, Bill says that we should also refer the clients to the brief. Bureau of Consumer Affairs at the Pennsylvania Insurance Department. And that is Dave Buono. I do have his information if anybody is interested. And Joe says, please send that information on the Senate bill and House bill. I'm going to try to copy that right now so I have it. <clears throat> Pardon me. And uh, say, nope, I can't do that. Um, I'll get it to you, Jay, and, and uh, once I can copy it. So that brings us up, <clears throat> pardon me, to the end of our questions. I'm sorry, Chad, that we didn't have any questions on, <clears throat> on, the, uh, on the Healthiest You card. I guess everybody's holding off for November 3rd at 2 p.m. But again, Yeah, no problem. Me. Looking forward to yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm sure you'll get lots of questions. And, uh, you know, again, if you're interested in selling the product, let me know. I'll get the invitation for contracting out to you. Uh, there's no fee. It's a real easy process. So, um, you know, get get your interest over to me. That brings us up to the conclusion. I thank Chad again for joining in. I will talk to you, I'm sure, between now and the third. Um, and there's my cell phone going off. Sorry. Um, and, <laughs> yeah, crazy day here at URL. <laughs> That's normal. Um, but I appreciate everybody joining in, and I hope to talk to all of you next week. Have a great weekend and uh, enjoy yourself. Stay dry. Bye-bye. <laughs>